Hello and welcome back to Flora on Food. This week we are attempting the hashtag, hashtag van life, life potato, potato bread challenge. challenge. Yes, yes, it's, it's a, a thing. thing. So this challenge was created by Mel from Pebbles of Peach and Liam the Terrible. So we thought this was a great way to get involved in the van life community. Even though we're thousands of miles away in Sardinia. The whole of Europe is on lockdown so no one is travelling or exploring at the moment but this is a great way to get a little Northern Irish flavour into your day. It's a super simple old school recipe and it's something that neither of us have tried before. So this potato pancake is popular in Ireland and Northern Ireland and it's also known as a potato cake or farl. It's a classic component in a fry-up and that is how we will be serving it today. Word on the street that if you put the cooked potato breads back into the pan that you cook the bacon, it's extra, extra tasty. Well, you know what they say, fat means flavour. We will be using Pebbles and Peaches recipe, which is two medium-sized Maris Pipers, 30 grams of butter, 60 grams of plain flour and half a teaspoon of salt. For a little bit of flora on food flair, we're adding a little bit of cracked black pepper and some finely diced spring onions. We will be serving it with some crispy streaky bacon and a poached egg. First up, we're peeling the potatoes ready for mash. And let me introduce my cack handed assistant, Callum. So as Meg said, I'm slightly cack-handed. Um, I write with my left, but everything else I do with my right, although sometimes it gets a bit confusing. I don't know which hand should be the dominant one. However, uh, I was requested to appear on screen, so I'll do my best to peel these potatoes, although it probably won't be the neatest job in the world. What am I doing, just taking off all the skin? Yeah, that's right, peel a potato. <laughs> So for the potatoes to cook evenly and all at the same time, you want the chunks to be the same size. I've gone for a slightly smaller chunk than I would at home, just so they cook quicker and we can serve gas. Let's cover them with water and get them on the boil. I'm also adding a pinch of salt to cook the potatoes too. The potatoes should take between 10 and 15 minutes to cook, but just test with a fork to make sure that they're done. But while we're waiting, I'm going to dice up the spring onions. Once the potatoes are cooked, drain them really well. You want to get as much water and liquid out of them as possible because you don't want a soggy dough. Now for the important jobs, it's time to mash the potatoes as thoroughly as I possibly can. I've been entrusted with this very important job, which I do appreciate, Meg. <laughs> Left or right-handed, it doesn't matter. I'll still do a brilliant job for you. <laughs> so this is what you want to do, keep turning the mash over. Oh, lovely and soft. They've been cooked to perfection. If you find a lump in this, I'll be very upset and surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to add pretty much all of the other ingredients to the mashed potato. So we've got the 30 grams of butter, the spring onion finely chopped, the half a teaspoon of salt that needs plenty of seasoning otherwise it's going to be very bland and then we're going to add our pinch of pepper not in the original recipe but my little flyer and then I'm going to add around seven and a half tablespoons of plain flour which from my research equals 60 grams but we don't have tablespoons so we're rocking with a dessert spoon and I'm going to add about nine or ten. I'll let you know in a minute. I think it needs to be a little bit more doughy so I'm going to add two more heaped dessert spoons to the mix which makes around 11 heaped dessert spoons of flour which I reckon is about 60 grams. It's all a bit of guesswork today because we don't have a set of scales in Flora. So I think I kind of roughly know the quantities of things. A little bit like Liam, I am using my brain and my elbow to guesstimate 
how much we're putting into things, so it, I think it will be all right. So now we have the potato dough. It's come very nicely into a ball. We're going to divide it in half and place half on a floured chopping board or a surface if you're in a house. Give your potato bread dough just a little bit of kneading to incorporate maybe a little bit more flour and to get it into a nice ball shape. So now it's time to roll our potato bread out flat. I know what you're thinking, who has a rolling pin in their van? Well, for this one, we've had to think on our feet a little bit. Unfortunately, we've been having our fair share of reasonably, reasonably <laughs> priced wine from the supermarket. And once they're cleaned out, they make a pretty good rolling pin. Yes, we don't carry a rolling pin in flora. Never had the need before. Don't put it on the floor, it's clean. <laughs> <laughs> it was clean. <laughs> so Mel cut hers into squares, but also did a van shape. Liam did what's probably known as drop droplet cakes but also made a very nice but we're going to very simply go for just a circle cut into quarters simple so now for the cooking taking a medium to large frying pan and placing it on the heat i'm going to add a very small drizzle of vegetable or sunflower oil just to stop it from sticking and we're going to light it up on a medium heat so once the pan is hot lay in your potato bread pieces it will take around three to five minutes to cook on each side and turn them over once they're golden brown. So it's amazing how much we got out of just two potatoes. I know that Liam used quite a few more. Um, it all went a bit biblical and it looked like he's feeding the 5,000. But he did donate the excess to fellow van lifers and we're going to do the same. So once the potato bread is cooked, remove from the pan and lay on a piece of foil on a plate with some foil on top and that will keep as much heat in as physically possible while we repeat the process for the next potato bread. And once the next potato bread is cooked, we're on to the bacon and poached egg. If you want to know how I cook perfect poached eggs, head over to our blog down below. In this recipe, I've explained how I do so. And now it's time for the plating up. We're just piling on our potato breads with some crispy bacon and those perfect poached eggs. Are you ready for this one? I am. Oh, that looks beautiful. Right, ready for the egg pop? Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, look at the state of that. <laughs> oh, perfectly poached eggs, as Megan claims. I'm going in. I'm going in for a taste. They smell brilliant. It tastes like leeking potato soup <laughs> in a pancake. <laughs> Such a simple recipe. In a way, with van life, it might be a bit of a faff to do it. So little ingredients to make such a homely, tasty mm. little breakfast. Lovely. They're lovely. They're like crispy, but soft and fluffy in the middle. They look a bit like naan breads at first. They do. And I thought maybe there wouldn't be too much taste to them just because of the lack of ingredients that's in them really, but they're really, really nice. Yeah. You definitely have to add the salt in the recipe, otherwise, they'll be really, really bland. So make sure if you test these out that you add enough salt. But one thing that I'm really missing, which would go lovely with these, 
is Heinz baked beans. <laughs> we didn't bring enough with us and they're very expensive in the, um, in the shops. Mm. I think this is one of my favorite things you've cooked. Really? And it's so relatively simple. I think even I could do this back home, you know? Again, just guess the ratios of flour and stuff until it looks right, but mm. nice and filling, like perfect for like a nice breakfast. Mm. So if you are going to attempt this recipe, please make sure that you tag Pebbles and Peach and Liam the Terrible and hashtag Van Life Potato Bread Challenge. Mm. And let us know if you do it and how successful it is for you. Don't worry if you're not in a van, you can do it in a house, a boat, a caravan. Any way you can cook, really. Yeah. <laughs> and we'd love to see it. So until next time, we'll see you later. Cheers. So I haven't really said much, I've been enjoying them too much. Lovely. Word on the street to... Oh. <laughs> Is that what the kids are saying? Yes. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag van life potato bread, bread. <laughs> <laughs> That was you. That uh, was me. Three, Sorry. two, one. Yes, yes it's, it's a <laughs> thing. <laughs> Three. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's something neither of us. It's what is it? Keep it rolling. <clears throat>